Big Boy's Big Neighborhood, boy. 50 Cent in the Neighborhood, yeah, man. man. Welcome back to the Neighborhood, wow. bro. All righty, I'm going to start at the uh, the end. What the hell did you do to the power intro, man? Okay. All right. And, you Come know, on, man. Let's get this out the way. Look you woke bit. up and you changed the, the taste mm-hmm. of Coca-Cola, bro. Yeah, why did you was, do that? That was nuts. But look what happened, Big. For me, I'm going like, like it was an opportunity for me to give him something new to listen to for the next six years. Right. Ah. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So because this is the, the finale and, and the end of Power Book 1, mm-hmm. Power Book 2 starts... Like exactly 48 hours after the finale. No, yeah, bro. Like that? Already? Yeah. So it starts the aftermath of everything that you see that happens at the end of this Because season. I saw you and Trey Songs. Y'all were doing a lot so <laughs> on social media. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it comes on, and I'm like, oh, they were leading up to it. Did you know that people love the original that much did you anticipate that kind not, of reaction not that type of backlash right yeah and mad. Trey's a hell of a singer though yeah, no no and look big right now Trey songs a boogie both of them on the charts they're golden yeah mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and then Joe I was trying to create something that felt like vintage I was listening to Lou Rawls Dead mm-hmm. in the Street mm-hmm. when I was actually trying to put the song together from the beginning and that's that what I used for, for influence for that song and then the production came together, and I was like, I want Joe, because he's one of those guys that when he sings, he sounds exactly like the record. Like, mm-hmm. like when you go see him perform live, it's what made me a Joe fan. And then I did that one with Joe, and then I come back, and I said, I need to do this with Trey to make this right. And People when I was in the recording, to, to make it right. I was like, what is <laughs> going on? Am I tripping? Am I hearing Yeah, he, was, he didn't want to do it. Did he, did he not want to do it him. because he knew... Or it was just like, man, you don't mess with like mess he, with a classic. He liked the first one, so he didn't. He was resisting it. He was like, yeah. "Yo, you sure? Like, why you want to do that?" And, and he I was, was like, like, "No, dude, I'm going viral. I mean, no. yeah, no, I'm doing it." <laughs> yeah, what did you say to convince him? Yeah, no, I was like, "Listen, when I played him, what, what I had already done because it was it had my vocals." Oh, I would have loved that heard that in the chorus. Is that you? You Sing were singing. It. It's a big Listen, big. <laughs> yeah. That's what was happening before Joe <laughs> sung it too. <laughs> So you, you made all the reference tracks like, man, this is what I'm looking for. Not quite like this. You know, but, you know a little bit more you. Yeah. Can, but, I, can I hear what it sounds like, Phil? What? I'm Wait, not singing right on, now. Man. Sing. Come no, on. man. I'm, I sound just like everybody else sounds in their house. Right. Oh, when yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to have shower, a microphone in the shower. All bad. Like, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So when did you realize that it was a so-called cancel culture bad idea? Well, well just the online feedback. It was yeah. kind of crazy. And then, at, look, the record itself, it went up during that time span. Because hmm. everybody was playing it and yeah. then playing the other Talking versions. Hell so yeah. And playing it. Ooh. And then so it, it made it go up at radio. And I'm like, maybe we should shoot a music video for it and let that one live. Did separately. y'all shoot it? No, we, we, we're looking to do it now. Man, Trey was like, man, I ain't going through yeah. all this with you. <laughs> Trey was like, I already told you I didn't want to do this. Trey uh, was like, man, I got a hell of a career. I ain't messing with you. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm not doing Power Book 2 or whatever the hell exactly. this is going on. Yeah, you look, now, but when Mary's starring in Power Book 2, then they may hear a little Mary. So it. is that what they're oh, we're calling uh-huh. it? Is it called? What, what, that, what's the official title? Power Book 2. That's Ghost. crazy. Is any, who else is coming along with it that's already part of Power? Well, um, I can't tell you that because then you don't know that they don't die. Wait, I have a question, a but I thought we were yeah. friends. Are, is, I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. Is Tari- Tariq and his new crew, his college crew, being set up to be the new uh, Tasha, Ghost, and Tommy? It kind of feels like that, but it's not exactly You know that. what it is, man. Yes, yes, no, because look, it, there's a female. Send me the script. Yes. There's a black and a white guy. Yes. Right. Right. So are, <laughs> it just, right. are they, are they going to continue? They're McDonald's. We're McDonald's. We're, right. we're, we're, we're yeah. just trying to keep it diverse. Hey, man, how many people do you have to say no when it comes to the TV show Power? Because I want to tell you straight up. There's a couple people in this room uh-huh. that want to be in the TV show. Yeah, look, it's a how, lot. how many people do you do you have to say no to? I've been saying no to a lot of people that I can say yes shortly. I right. I say yes because it's turning into four spinoff shows. Hmm. And then, like, because I've convinced stars that mm-hmm. Power is like Marvel. Yeah, man. You know, it I mean, is. It's different. It's a world that you can continue to do things in. And do you own stars? No, you I t- should. I, he said no. I don't have. No, I don't have. I don't have shares in. in hey, man, let me tell uh, you why. Because I think that you brought everyone to, to stars. Yeah. Yep. You know, and I love stars Definitely as as good. a network. But it was like a movie here, a movie, a movie there. Like we were now, we watch that as like you got to make sure it's in your package now. Yeah, it's going to be a, a more diverse version of HBO. 
Like yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. For it. Because they're what? giving deals now too. Well, they. Yeah. I know. I was in the building. They turned mine down, but they give them to some people. <laughs> <laughs> they also it opened up the the lane for more shows like Vida, which right. it, yeah, which man. is for the Latinx community, which I really appreciate. I only go to Stars now for Power and Vida now. Yeah, that's so. what it is. It's a more diverse version of HBO. Fifty. Are you a bully? And I have asked you this. Never. 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 Okay. Let me ask you know, this. I don't pick the fight. I don't start the fight. It almost seems okay. Oh, that's well, you jump in though. Huh. <laughs> right. You can yeah. jump in so, and, and they said it was a problem. I said, no problem. <laughs> right. And people seem to not have an <laughs> right. issue with it. <laughs> right. But I don't start the fight. Like, you know, it's just, So who actually starts the fight? So any so you're the victim. Yeah, I'm well I'm usually <laughs> I'm usually look, this is why Nicki Minaj looks like such a bad person. Uh, at points. Because uh, she's defending her position from the position the of being the winner. Wow. Ah. Mm. So you know you're defending your position. Right. Like, okay. You, you got, because uh, uh, a lot of times it look like you're the aggressor, but you're not. But I, well, I become the aggressor after got I'm you. agitated. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know once they saying? wake but, up to sleep in giant. Right, right. Because you look don't this. want this. Yeah, you'll say, like, she's already in, in, in position as one of the biggest female solo, solo artists in, in hip-hop. And then when the new regime of, of women come, mm -hmm. it, you have to kind of compete. It, mm -hmm. it gets competitive now, right. and it starts. First, it was the oh, it's, how does it feel to be like one of the big female in a, a male dominated industry, and this is that mm -hmm. this woman empowerment. And then when they all come at once, they're like, "Yo, chill, bitch, where you going?" Right? <laughs> you know, you know what, like, Yo, what you doing? <laughs> Hold the headphone. Yeah. Where do you think you're going? Too you know that's my throne up there. Yeah, and it starts to be a little defensive, and it's just look. That's why I said when when they start talking about her retiring, I said I think. Just take a break. Don't retire. Like, just take a break. You think she's going to stick to that? I think she's going to be back. Because mm -hmm. once you get... It's almost like magic music. Mm -hmm. You know, the idea... The simplicity created... The simplicity, a part of creating the, the lyrics, mm -hmm. feels like magic. Because it just comes out of you after you condition for it. Like, it's no... It's not... It's not rocket science. Like, go shorty, it's your birthday. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but every day is someone's birthday and it contains its relevance, but big, it just came out and the music was playing. That's crazy. You know, like, it's just... Hey, man, did you know yeah. that when you did In the Club that that was going to become like the third most popular birthday song? Nah. Because really. you got to think, just, we got happy birthday. Yo, then we yeah. got happy birthday to you. And then we got go, go show. It's, it's your birthday. birthday. You, know what I'm you, like, you even see white birthday. people like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, do you play in the club at your birthday? Is that cheesy it, for you to walk it, even in? Even when it's not like, like for me, like a planned situation, it happens. Really though? Happens. So, do 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 the playlist automatically change when you walk in? Yeah, yeah. you know how and, the DJ like see you. They start going to fifty songs, different territories and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or they'll just go into a little set, play a few songs there, because it, it influenced them. It, like they, like when you come from a period that, like I'm not right now. My audience, my core audience, was partying every available moment in mm -hmm. 2003. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now we're in 2019. Like hip hop is supposed to be connected to youth culture and and moving faster than the other genres of music. Fifth, like just when you that. said the years, we are in a genre where we are here today, gone tonight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think that 50 Cent is so damn relevant? I, well, big, I love Post it. the first album, and you know what I'm saying? Or I, Well, I just, I think, look, our culture loves things that are damaged. And mm -hmm. at that point, I was probably the most damaged thing that they seen. Mm -hmm. So when you come through and you say you're going to get rich or die trying, they love they love things that, that won't be able to sustain its position regardless. Like like they get there and their own flaws of character will destroy them mm -hmm. if you give them too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and that, it's, it's interesting to watch. Like it's like that you go, yo, the craziest things work. Like go with all in my grill. Like the yeah, yeah. Trinidad James thing. You look and you go, this is a real person. It looked like the character of Martin. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Right? All right, here we go. <laughs> Renee, right? mark that one down. No, but it was real. That's here we the go. way it looked. And we appreciated it. We, we liked it because it was like, yo, look at this. Why do you think we liked you? Was it the I was well because the I shot had, nine times? The, and coming real. in with all of that baggage. With right. Everything that, you, everybody was still but, on the street. But then when we're finished, when, Big, when we're done with that, the, why? Big, the guy that got shot nine times, album says he's going to get rich or die trying, and everybody involved is still on the street. I hear you. Think it's possible he died trying? That's the highest stakes you can have. Mm -hmm. But do so, you usually we're finished. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? But usually we're, we're finished, and especially after you got rich. But and then, <laughs> then I, I And you're still here. New information. Yeah, get yeah. richer. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, get richer and keep trying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, ain't, he ain't gonna die trying no more. A lot of times they don't have things around them they can they can they can get that information from or how they can influence themselves. Like if there's like like now they meet the audience before they meet the record company because they went to this recording right. studio last mm-hmm. night. They put it on their iCloud, the SoundCloud, whatever, and it's playing through YouTube or wherever, and they start to develop a stronger following, the record companies come when they're actually getting to the point that they don't need them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like, man, I can do this on my own. Oh, now I'm, I'm already doing good on my own. Hey, you Fifth, know? what is Tycoon Weekend? <laughs> because it's obvious none of us were invited. Right, yeah. we were invited to yeah. This was something that started, Ant started this. Ant, okay. ladies, man, he, 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 uh, he put together the Tycoon, the first performance, and he branded it Tycoon, right? It was in Atlanta, and we did the... The performance afterwards was at Compound, and then the following day we did a pool party mm-hmm. at the house. Now, Atlanta is a little different from New York because you can't really find the, a place that will allow that many people to come. Mm-hmm. In Atlanta? No, in New York. In New York, got gotcha, you, mm-hmm. got gotcha. you. So, like, we, we was looking in the Hamptons. We was looking all over the place to find a, a, the place that we could set up a big enough spot mm-hmm. for the pool party. It, it wasn't working. We went to this spot. It was called, like, Spa, Sojo's Spa type thing. I was going to buy all of the the admission mm-hmm. for the day and then kind of make it like a corporate event. And mm-hmm. that didn't happen? They wouldn't do it. Damn. <laughs> it was, they didn't want to let us use the pool at their spot. So it was like, and then we found a perfect spot in Elizabeth, New Jersey. It was the, the barcode joint. And that was like, I'm like, yes, 3,000 people at a pool party? Damn. Big, what they'll point out, no incidents. Yeah, I know, man. That's well, awesome. I mean, it wasn't no incidents, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? I we got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we 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 know out. that. Did yeah. you really smoke with Snoop? <laughs> yeah, I did, but I didn't. No, nah, for real, look I didn't me now. I didn't. Oh, okay, no, now, Mr. All right, Mr. President, did you really yeah. did you really hold the joint <laughs> after Snoop Dogg? I did. Hold, hold Have hold you on. ever smoked in your life before, Phil? No, you know, I, you know, I've never. I was smoked. being influenced. I was being peer pressured. Snoop is my star. Like these guys were stars before I got on, big. Like right. I'm like excited that. <laughs> Really, Tycoon was about Snoop is here. Dude, you've been <laughs> around awesome. Snoop Dogg you know I mean? like, a million yes. times. Yeah, but he was in New York, big. Right, right, right. We right, was right. around. <laughs> and it was Tycoon and, weekend. And we was acting crazy. Like, yeah. we were just running around, just driving, just like... Yeah. Stealing cars. Yeah, we right. were just riding. Just, who got that car? Oh, yeah. Snoop got it. <laughs> and okay, so did, you, did you really put the joint to your lips? I did, big. You didn't inhale. That. How did. does that work? I did, just didn't inhale because I just don't know how to inhale. I didn't never do this before. Right. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, I held it and I said, <laughs> and now you say you got a drug problem. Yeah, Snoop was he was happy to see me have a drug problem. He was like, he was like, <laughs> yeah, got I finally got him. I got, got him. Good. Hey man, Wendy Williams was Wendy uh, Williams not invited? Yeah, she just showed up. Okay, so she really wasn't invited. Yeah, after she talked about me for years, babe. Like, and that's what I do want to yeah. ask. There, there's been a public, you know, like not feud, but there's been some going back and forth. Yeah. Why did? She, why do you feel like she thought she could show up if she wasn't invited? I don't know. I like to save my life. I don't understand that part. Like I wouldn't go. I wouldn't mm, go to her yeah. party if there was if something was happening like that. And it was just like, and it is anything that like like that was all of our party, really. really. Right. Like you know, what I mean, it wasn't like this is fifties party. Did Snoop was, invite her? Where to Tycoon? Yeah, wherever that is, he's is the, the West Coast. Tycoon but did he invite her? No, he didn't. Oh, okay, so I'm just <laughs> yeah. wondering if it was she everybody's. Just came. Part. She just okay. came because she, she just wanted. Up, huh? her, she said her son wanted to see Snoop. Right, and she popped in for that. And I just I wouldn't have done that. Did you know that Wendy <laughs> Wendy Williams was outside of the Tycoon party? Did you did, were you did you have knowledge mm-hmm. that she was out there and she couldn't get I in? I got it. I got the video. The video that went up with her and said, look, this is Wendy Williams trying to get in. <laughs> yeah. I, saw it inside the I party. got that video when she was out like in the Like in the literally front. while so you're you inside. So you knew. Yeah, I knew they was having an issue at the door. Oh, so you, it, you all within her, huh? you, you knew that you weren't going to go and get her and say, no, let, let her in. <laughs> no, I wasn't doing that, baby. Like, I, said, I, didn't, I did not look. Since then, she did Watch What Happens Live mm-hmm. and, and was she on it with Andy you. and she said nice things and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't really want to attack. Like, I don't have to have the issue. You know what I'm saying? It's just, if the person has a problem, I see no problem. Because like, I understand that something is, like, I, look, if somebody is across the street and they don't like you, big, they say, I just don't like it. Why? They can assume you're a certain way. They can look at you and say, she's bougie. Why? Mm-hmm. It's her hair. It looks like she's, like, just whatever it is. Just their personal <laughs> yeah. assumption mm-hmm. of you. And then, are you the kind of person that wants to go across the street and persuade them to feel different? 
Or are you the person that identifies with how they feel and go, oh, well, yeah, but then you too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Since you feel like that, because I don't even know you. Why would you why would you feel like that? Were you looking at the screen laughing that she couldn't get in? That was really entertaining for me. It right. felt like it was <laughs> big. I was so, like, what happened? <laughs> hey dude, did I, you double uh, down on make sure she don't get in? Yeah, I, I just I didn't know. I didn't want to end because I didn't have a reason for her to be there. I didn't understand how she why she was there. Yeah. Like, has she ever tried to reach out to you and say like, "Let's squash this. Let's go to coffee, or let's like let's figure this out"? No, I've I've had people say things like that. She's said things behind the scenes that mm. was positive, like that she didn't want that problem. And I'm like, okay, but that was like to them personally mm-hmm. at that point. So I'm like, that's maybe how she felt when she was talking to you, not necessarily how she feels because you didn't say anything publicly. But after she said things publicly, I didn't have a problem with her. I'm looking at her like. Right. Would you still go to didn't co- take away this? the things that she yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, know, you go to just coffee? a different set of goggles on. Huh? Would you go have like dinner or coffee with her right now if she asked? I don't think I need to have dinner or coffee right. to not not Do you drink coffee? Cool. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see what you mean. having a problem. Yeah. Like it's just it's not even that serious. I just looked at it like for, it's been consistently negative mm-hmm. over a long period of time like the the statements that were made. Maybe because of what she felt like was interesting to present. As gossip, mm. mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like the it, wrong one. It was always that, and then what? a lot of our coaches out. They they come and go. It's one hit, they're gone. Yeah. So you feel like that you could just pick this genre of music and just say what you want about anybody involved. Are you petty, Phil? Petty? Yeah. They give me this. They give me this <laughs> title. <man. laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know why they give me this. Because yes. because some people probably say like, man, looking at the screen, not going out, making sure. Some people are like, oh, that's petty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and go, I mean, I love it. You know, what that, look, that petty side of is usually we have that in our character. Mm-hmm, Whatever yeah. they're calling petty is just the way we would respond to things. That's true. Like I look at it, and I'm going, "Oh no, what that is was, this? That was a little." Yeah, this was like less than 23 hours ago. Yeah, but That's... that was someone else made that. Big, I'm not. Oh yeah, I was looking at you're that. Not, you're not There's responsible. There's a nightmare on Elm Street. I and had that here too. Yeah. And it's you and Wendy, and you posted that. But I'm, a, I'm less making fun of ago. what she's saying and why it's going back. Like, how does this look? How does this become a news item? How do we use this time? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, like, this is somebody who just talked about me, and then she becomes important enough to be on the. The morning show. 50, have you seen um, Dave Chappelle's new comedy special? I didn't see it yet. You got to check that out. And the reason why I ask you is because we're into this real cancel culture right Uh now. But Dave Chappelle, he threw it all out there. And people have a problem with it. But he threw it all out there because I feel like he can't be canceled. And Uh I don't think that he cares enough that if you say, oh, you know, I think Dave is one of those that just walk away and be like, F everybody. Mm -hmm. No. But you also don't get caught up in the cancel culture. I mean, yeah. because and the reason why I say that is because you say the most craziest stuff. You you if, if there's a problem with anyone, male, exactly. female, cat, dog, whatever, it don't matter. You go at them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's Everybody dead. can get it. Like why can't you be canceled? Like or you're not afraid of but the masses you. or the powers that be, huh? Well, no, I I just it's just my opinion. Like you go after yeah. you go after business partners, you go after, have... partners, you <laughs> yeah. go after people that own the, the the channel that runs your show. Everybody you tell can the motherfuckers get it. to give you a million dollars by Monday, like. <laughs> but big, the guy owed me a million dollars for six years. <laughs> and then look, look, that's, he paid like, three hundred thousand of the money was paid back. Look, look, that's like say he was presenting himself as a partner when he wasn't in a financial situation where he can partner with me. Right. So he was uh, salary coming out of. The investments that we made, right. they, they <laughs> right. made profits. But then we looked and we see there's a million three that went out to you, like to you being paid. Mm-hmm. So now, so off the rip, he owe you a million three. We got to get that money back. From mm-hmm. And then she goes, the three hundred thousand comes back because he's also a producer on Power. So he sent the letter direction. That money came. He's he's also a producer on uh, the BMF series. Oh. So I'm like, yo, give me something before I pay myself back. Yeah. Or for, you know what I'm saying? Because now this is already going to pay. You, I've done cool enough stuff since we've been since you owed me the money to pay me back the money without you going in your pocket. So did he really pay you by Monday? Yeah, he did. He I was, heard that. Of course. He did. I heard that. Now, why you don't feel like you've ever been canceled? <laughs> like, like, why are you not afraid nah. of? And I'm going to tell you, even sitting here, Phil, as a person that does interviews and just the way that the climate is today, I'm like, oh. okay, I gotta watch what I say here. Oh, I gotta watch, and, 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 and I'm keeping it real with you. Yeah. Like consciously, there's just some things that I don't do now. 
You know what is the audience? My brain is built different. Mm. It's the only place that you can actually say what you're thinking in this far. Because, what if, look, say me too, I say not me. I don't have those issues. Mm. Right. Right? And then look at what they're saying in the cultures. Like there's the, she's saying, you, you know he's giving Megan his money. If you're not willing to give him something in exchange for what they're doing, you're not okay, big. Mm. We in the whole section. We're in the section where the, that is, they're looking for that. Mm. So if, you, if you're saying that that's not okay, mm-hmm. they don't even like the woman that's saying that's not okay. Right. Get her out of here. Mm. Why is she speaking up? You understand what I'm saying? So this is where culturally things are a little different and the conflicts between what they would say is acceptable and unacceptable is two different Man, complete I, perspectives. Like the, look, from, from a woman's perspective, you know that there's the woman out there that has expectations in connection to anything that she does with hanging out with you. That's not the same woman that's involved in the Me Too movement. Right. Mm. You see what I'm I saying? Hear you, so I hear you. so that is is two different places for those things. And then, and then, and then that audience is in in and enjoying hip hop culture. It's like look look at just lines from female solo artists that change perspective, right? You gotta eat the booty like groceries. Right. You just there another you go. Yeah, you just another nigga on my hit list. Mm-hmm. These are big stars. It's Rihanna, right? Um, I was trying to think of it. Uh, you're more like Monday through Friday. I'm like The Weeknd. SZA. SZA. Like, these are big stars. Like, these are big female artists. Now, look, this is saying, look, that line says, I'm I'm the superstar that you came to see tonight, and I'm the side bitch. Because you're more like Monday through Friday, and mm-hmm. I'm like The Weeknd. Right. Right? So tell me what portion of... of Culturally, things that are going on isn't being represented in R&B and hip hop culture. When this is the new, the new version. So, what are you supposed to say for shock value when you're approaching writing? Candy Shop is PG-13 now, baby. Yeah, gotta, compared yeah. to, huh? Yeah. Very much so. Compared to what's being said, you got to say something far more graphic for it to impact in a way that you know, right now, that it works. Like, you don't is, get tired of it though. It's it. Well, it don't seem like you get caught up in in the motions, man. You so you don't get tired of being extra careful or. Somebody saying something. No, nah, look, big. It's it's different. Like the, when when I'm confused, I'm quiet. <laughs> I get quiet, big. <laughs> and I'm going, what is going? Wait, what is this? Like, what's going on? Other than that, then I'm fine with it. And then I, I look, I exercise the whistle while you work concept. This is why I'm I can do it more than I enjoy what I'm doing. So I could do it more than the other guys do. They they, they tuck away. Like you might see Jay once a year at mm-hmm. the brunch. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But other than that, you got to get away from it because it's, it's a lot of work for him at this point. Earlier you mentioned Marvel, and at some point you yeah. told Marvel that you wanted to come in and direct a Marvel film. What is Marvel doing or not doing that you would be doing? Oh, man, they they, they haven't missed. Every single mm-hmm. one of those projects have been a success because they've been able to, uh, to create projects that are visually stimulating to us in a different way. But what like could if, you do for them? If you look, I can... Uh, Bring a, a twist and style to it. Okay. Gives mm-hmm. it an edge, big. Mm-hmm. You know? Take us with you. Yeah. Which we'll all go. Which superhero are you going to direct? I don't know. Like, I, it would be one of their projects. They, it doesn't matter over at Marvel because mm-hmm. they all win. They're all successful. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all right? That's real. Hey, man, um, I do want to ask you why we got you here, man. Uh, people are known for, like, having beefs with you. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah or, or, and I'm I'm putting it on him because obviously you know you said it's not you. So people are known for having beefs with you, right? right? Is there any beef that that we can recall that you have squashed? Mm-hmm. I, um, you I, and Fat Joe, y'all we'll have no y- problem. Y'all court, yeah, yeah, no He's problem. A better friend than my friends. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how did you and Fat Joe arrive? That that one was with Chris Lighty, the loss of Chris Lighty. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was we we had to be on a. Uh, on stage to do the tribute for him and that was the first time we had to be in the same place right like and then it was like the guys that, that he had with him that he he knew would be full and full-on support if he needed if something was going wrong mm-hmm. yeah 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 they was being like it was like at the door not letting them in because they was afraid that it'd be too much of a problem if they all got in big and, Have was, you, and what did you mm-hmm. and joe say was not on the stage but just 
afterwards where y'all had a real conversation. That was the real thing that happened because they was not letting his, his support in. He was in, and I was like, nah, you got to let them in. When I got to the door. I heard that. I was like, because he's going to be off balance. If if he sees me with me and my people and he don't have his damn people with him, and then we don't, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I would have damn sure been at the door like, hey, man, don't let them in. <laughs> Let all my team in, not them. We already got. I have, we was already there, so it's like make sure he has what will make him comfortable. Right. So he, and that's grown man out. stuff. Yeah. And, and recently we had uh, Rick Ross in the neighborhood, uh-huh. and we did kind of ask Miss Rick Ross. I don't know who, who where I the question came from. Probably even me. Yeah, I think you asked. Him. Um, but it was, and I'm paraphrasing. He would, like he make was music with him. Yeah, it was something where, and I would have to see, but it was something yeah. where. Things got cool with him and somebody else. And, uh-huh. and I was like, man, when do we see that with you and Fifth? And he said, you're just not that dude anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was just not focused on that at the present moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I just built, I have nine television shows, babe. Yeah. You know, and you're going to realize that they don't see themselves being moved out of what that the position they were in was. Like for, for Rick Ross, there's certain artists that they would say things about 50 Cent and that would generate their energy. Mm-hmm. That the community, that the soap opera, or the or their, their issue, their whole career has been based on that. So it's not a surprise that they try to do that to continue the relevance, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm I'm looking going, good luck because you're trying to sell a CD at the present moment, and I'm not trying to sell music. Mm-hmm. So I'm over here, and I just sold a television show to Fox yesterday. So while this is happening, oh, I'm that's going, why you're here. Yeah, that's why yeah, we're okay. in LA. Congrats. I wonder what you're doing in LA. It's yeah. not like you just come to see us. Are you working on any new music right yeah, now? Yeah, what's up yeah, with 50 artists? I have some ideas, some things that what I started kind of working ideas? on. Man, F Tell ideas, us. man. We, it's, Give, I'm talking about music. Everybody have ideas. No, no, no. This is, I'm talking about, like, I've, I've written some things. Okay. But yeah, have you recorded I've some things? Yeah. Oh, okay. They recorded, they, they, I got things there. Like, like, I got over a thousand songs that I didn't put out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, you know how, like, an artist put a record out and he said this, this was, like, a personal right. album? Right. I think that shit was supposed to be like in your personal headphones. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this one's wow. for me. I like, mean, keep that for you. Keep yeah. It. You don't put that out for the world if it's, you know. Do, you, do you ever feel like like we, we get those positions where people don't want to hear it? Yeah. You know what, what I'm the, saying? The music? Yeah, where Not like, when it's like right. because people always putting like there's People try to put expiration dates on us now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ex- expectations, when you're supposed to get off the stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, How do you I avoid think, that? I think if you can't actually put on the show the right way, you should get off the stage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't keep your, yourself in good physical condition where you can do it, then I can understand them saying, yo, you need to get off stage. But then some of them come in fat when they start. Right, right here. So, <laughs> So you like it's just in bad shape from the very beginning. So, do you listen to or do you pay attention to the so-called younger generation? Yeah, I, I watch them because they look. They, they are the new energy mm-hmm. being injected into the culture. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch them and see what they're doing is trending. Is this cool? Like, look, dance culture becomes stronger in hip hop as we start to move to a southern bass sounding music. Right. Mm-hmm. When that happens, they need. It starts to feel like the music is coming out sounding the same. Right. It's because they can't even do the, the dance that they're into if it doesn't feel like that. Mm. So it has to have that vibe consistently mm. to, for them to be able to party to it. They got a specific way that they party into the music. And then it's it's like, okay, I can change the beat. This is easy. I go across the street. I give you a, a trap sound from Dr. Dre. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a different, bring back those things that... If you think he can't produce that kind of music, you're crazy. Like, cause he's just hearing the drum. What did hip hop feel like when it was Dre, Fifty, mm. Eminem, mm. Exhibit, <laughs> Snoop? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what did hip hop feel like then, and what does fi- hip hop feel to Fifty now? It's look, for for me, then it was. You can see it was more uh, the neighborhood influenced. Like Snoop was Long Beach, mm-hmm. you know. Me Southside, there's different D- Detroit, Eight Mile. Like you, you had to have a connection to mm-hmm. a whole area, like where you was coming from. Jay Z, Marcy, Nas, Queensbridge. Mm-hmm. Like there was you was representing the environment that you coming out of, and you kind of brought those people along with you as long as you could. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. And now, look, you say when like now, it's 
they're following a trend in sound, so it, it can have zero reflection to where they come from or mm-hmm. what's going on in the environment. It's just something that they just did. Mm-hmm. And if it feels good, it could take off and be one hit, and then they're not there no more. Like, How was it working with Ed Sheeran and Eminem recently? That was cool. You know, that was really, that was an M thing. Like, I had went to his his last dates, the last mm-hmm. two dates in, in London mm-hmm. for a show, and I was popping out as a surprise on it. And Ed, Ed Sheeran was there, and they were planning to do something together. Mm-hmm. And then I was there, and then Ed just <laughs> added me. He was like, like yeah, in. let's all of us, let's just let's do it together. And Em was like, what What that just happened? <laughs> it was you and me. Right, not, yeah. <laughs> My moment. And then I ended up, you know, we just ended up rapping on the record. We did it. And What's then, that friendship like with Eminem now? I, I love him. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, just because he gave me my opportunity. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even be here, babe. What are the you know conversations that you guys have when you catch up? Well, all we, we be talking about everything. Kids, everything. Like they, Now, he didn't want to go on tour big. I showed him a layout. We could have went on tour. Me, M, Dre, Snoop. Imagine that. What would that? Oh, my gosh. Make no, that happen, listen, please. Look, you do not believe how much money. I know, on. bro. And, just, and, and it was like. It was so many dates at the time, the way they laid it out, that he was like, I, I just don't want to go on tour and come back. And Haley's grown. Mm. Damn. Well, Haley's grown like, already, Haley so grown make now? this happen now. Yeah, she's grown now. She we could probably get this thing going. How many dates? <laughs> no, it was it was a ridiculous amount of dates that right. they had on a... Yeah, I would have been gone for like a year. Yeah, but when you come back, like everybody's got the <laughs> kind of money that to, to, no one answers the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, we ain't doing like, that again. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? We don't have to do this again after you do this. All right, and then... It just when they brought the, the presentation, they brought it to me to bring it to him because it was like, like he'll if he gonna to look it. at it from he'll anyone, look at it from him, yeah. And then because you know Dre is like Dre is to Eminem what Eminem is to Fifty Cent, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? So and in, in the relationships, like they would go if they was trying to get Dre to do it, they probably would give it to him mm-hmm. and send him, yeah, him mm-hmm. and Snoop, yeah, yeah, and then. That, so they sent me to do it, and I, and I got it. I just got the wrong. It just, the vibe was Hey, like, dude, did what? you know going in, like, as soon as he started talking, you're like, yeah, this ain't going to happen. I could tell. Like, I could tell when he's, like, excited about it or when he's, like, trying to tell me, yo, I, I like, I think we should do it, but. If y'all would have went from day one to uh-huh. day whatever, how much do you think that tour would have been? Uh, like, man. y'all. Like collectively, it would've been over a hundred million dollars, easy. Oof, for sure. But you know, damn, it's really like because M was like a million dollars a day. Wow, damn. What's the best piece of advice that Eminem's ever given you? We can't go and get that. He just look. <laughs> you know what he does? He go like this. I watch him like like Dre like you know how Dre play music in the studio and he'll watch everybody else's response to it, just see how everybody else feels about it, and then and. Usually, I can't get those tracks until everybody calms down. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when they heard it a few times and then they're not really so excited about it anymore, now I'm like, yo, let me get that one. Oh, so you know the waiting process, too. Yeah, yeah. Which, I, ones, which ones did you wait on that we know? Like, that's classics from you. Th- th- I missed the, the uh, Can I Make It Dope, the Aaliyah sample. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He played me that record five years before that was wow. uh, T.I. single. And you, what, <laughs> what happened there, though? Passed it on? just it sat... He had it, like because he'll be in his mind. He's making his chronic or, or making that next yeah. album, and he'll have he'll hold it because he got I got something that's a jewel. This is just fire, and like, everybody man, he, he plays for it going. Yeah, this is it, mm-hmm. and then you can't get the track from him until <laughs> yeah, yeah, until he's done, done. Huh? Yeah, until it calms down a little bit on that. <laughs> did, did you ever think fifth from from your first introduction t- to us that you would still be here? You know, if you want yeah. to, you hope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it was nothing. It's, it's nothing in stone. Like you can't be sure. Well, you know, it's like, some of the how, biggest how deals. Live? How long are you gonna live? I mean, how many people did did you lose, baby? Right. I lost a lot of people, man. And so, some of the biggest deals in hip hop, though, not just yeah. as an artist. You know what I'm saying? We, I remember when you said I got a meal out the deal. And, and that was like, that's you, bra- mm-hmm. that, but that's you bragging. That was a lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and now a, a meal out the deal, it's probably different for you now. Yeah, no, that the really doesn't mean much. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Monday. Yeah, he's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody brought, yeah, yeah, my man brought you that on a Monday. Yeah. Fifth, you said hey. that you and Eminem talk about your kids. Um, 
Where are you and Marquise at right now? How's your relationship with? I don't your son? have a I don't have a relationship with him. at all no. whatsoever. No, it's it's uh, an unfortunate situation. It, the, um, I, all I can think of is the entitlement mm. being filtered, right? Because you gotta imagine, how do you make a a a, a privileged child feel deprived mm. or, or angry? Like big, you say, when he comes into his own and he starts to have interest in his identity because he's attracted to women at that point mm-hmm. or or attracted to men. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on over there. You know, but when that happens, there's uh you you start picking things. You start mm-hmm. picking your clothes. You start picking you all want I need these. Like mm-hmm. specifically these Jordans are not the new, the ones that's on the shelf but the retro ones, right? Mm-hmm. And you gotta imagine your mom going, all right, I figure out how to get them for you, but it just bothers me because your father, you're supposed to have them all. Right. Mm. And then every time you get what you ask for, all you can think of is how many other colorways they made that you don't have and right. your dad didn't don't want you to have. And over time, that programming... Repeats itself. Yeah, every, over and over. And you got to look and say, my grandfather, he'll look and say, if it rattled like a snake and it's little like a snake, is it a snake or do you need to be bit? Mm. Would you right? ever be- And it's because you keep seeing the boy show up with people that I'm having differences with mm. and it, it feels like people make a common bond on, on, on disliking someone like they'll they'll go and right be friends with someone that yeah is upset with them because they're upset with them like and it's showing you that he feels like i'm his enemy instead of you know when's Jeez. the last time y'all talked we don't talk wow at all Do you but ever? this is by choice like, yeah, i've yeah, been yeah. places where you uh, go on places where he was at like, to try and how to old is he now 21? 20, oh, 20, 22. 22. Wow. All grown. Do you ever see... Yeah, like, uh, there's no support, nothing going on now. So it's cool. Like now for you to feel the real world is different because you've been living on an artificial economy mm-hmm. of me. You know, so you start to... it open your eyes, trust me. Hell Do you yeah. ever see you guys talking again or repairing that relationship? I'm is not that possible? Sure. I'm not sure how you can repair something. That It's the same thing I said about game every time we talked about it. If, that, if I didn't motivate it, I'm not sure I can resolve it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, you can attempt to, like, there's points that I've I've gone places where he was at, and he left those places. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's because uh, his uh, connection to his mom. Like, look, a female child, the, the the first man they fall in love with is their dad. You know, mm-hmm. for, mm-hmm. For, right. for the male child, it's the mom. polar opposite is mom. Mm-hmm. It's like, no matter how cool they or tight they are with their dad, they fall in love with mom. It's just... Instinctively, I think it's something internal. Have you and Game had any kind of a conversation since everybody's, you know, like well, extremely grown now? And I ran into him out in the, in the nightlife, you know, came around. Mm-hmm. Stuff we seen each other like, oh. Which a lot of stuff was being motivated by Jimmy Hinchman. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And he, he Game identified with that then while we was talking, you know what I'm saying? And Jimmy, I, you know, I think his, his real issue was with Chris. Chris Lighty, because he mm-hmm. was in the same field. Like you can't be Fifty Cent, but he was resenting me for making momentum for Chris. That was making Chris bigger than as a management than Caesar Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but y'all can. Everybody can coexist. Yeah, I don't have a problem with him. I heard I, that. Like I wouldn't even. It, there's not even be a problem if we're in the same room. Like we're in the same room. It's like. What about G Unit? Like when G-Unit? at one point. We were screaming G Unit. Yeah, you know what? What goes on with with G Unit now? Well, people grow. They grow. Like, yeah, it's grown men. Like everybody went to their different directions, in some ways. And some of them, like like Yay, he's never gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's gonna stay, regardless. He's gonna just be down. Like that's, what that's about weird. Buck? Buck, you know what happened with Buck? He he had a relationship with someone for like a year or two, or something like that, and a transsexual, right? And when that came out publicly, he didn't know how to communicate with me about it. Mm. And I, he wasn't ready for that to come out. That's what I got from it because there was no reason for him to respond that way. Like he just went in went defense mode and started saying things like like attacking me mm. from it because he, he felt immediately, oh, okay, he's not going to want that around. Or he's not going to accept that. So he's going to – and he started attack him so I'm like so you make the choice to do this you're in this relationship and attack me for it okay how does that work like I don't know how that works Mm -hmm. Banks Uh, Banks 
he he just I don't even know he couldn't even tell you like at any point when you speak to him what the problem is. Damn. I put him like where I put Marquise. Oh wow. Like they just have wow. something internally that's going on with them that gives them some sort of resentment towards me and then I just don't even care about what's going on. Is there still a G unit? Yeah. Well, I mean Like maybe, not the members that we know, but is fifty still from G unit? Yeah, yeah. It's still it's still I'm working <laughs> with Uncle Murder, I'm working with uh, Tony Ayo. Okay. You know, and when we get ready to do, it's usually that was the format. It's three of us. Initially, it was me, Tony Ayo, and Lloyd Banks. Then it was me. They saw Buck come in because Ayo was in jail. Mm -hmm. And then Lloyd Banks. And then everything else grew to the point that I was able to pick all the artists that I wanted to work with. So instead of just doing songs with them while they were on another label, I would bring them to the label so we benefited from it the, the, the whole way. And that's what Mace and... Mob Deep and mm -hmm. MOP. These guys, I was Mob Deep and MOP fans before that. And Mace already, you know, he had already had an impressive portfolio of stuff that he did. Before he started bugging, like he started doing the, the church stuff. The gospel stuff. stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Don't. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. He yeah. just made me say church, church stuff was bugging. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't mean that. But he was bugging. Uh, right, because who made was, you say that? Huh? Who made you say Mace that? Mace just did. Oh, oh okay. He, he made me say church stuff is bugging. So the so the ghost is anything is ever your fault? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Is yeah, man, like, is anything ever your fault? No, big. When I said bugging, because he would flip flop, he would flip right. flop. I thought we was doing Jesus walks. Right, right. Okay. So he was making the the hip hop, the new version hip hop album that had that those tones to it. Is and there then, anything that you won't answer? What? What you mean? Like, <laughs> I respond to you. I'll be honest with you. I know. You know what I'm saying? But there's never been a time where I, sometimes, dude, like, I'm like, well, he's he not going to answer this. Yeah. You know? And then there's other times I don't even answer, ask something because <laughs> I just don't even want you to answer. Said, I'm afraid of what he's going to say. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What it's is, just me in the room. What is going to say? 50, do you regret co-signing Takashi 6 9 as the Ooh. king of New York? Nah, nah. You know what it is? Look, when you got young artists coming up, but you don't want to make them not feel like that they're going to, they, they feel like you're the king of New York. You got hit records playing. You got the momentum going. I'm like, yeah. Like I, I think Jacquees should say he was the king of R&B. Mm -hmm. If that's the way you feel, it may allow his confidence to get to the point that he can continue to create and build more momentum. Mm -hmm. That's why I was, and he was around. Look, he was around. Look, Crippy. That's what's his name's little brother. My man's little Shoddy? brother. Like nah, Shadi and them. They all Lexington and Marcy. They right there. Mm -hmm. These is the the younger brothers are the guys that was running around actively with me. Gotcha. Mm. See what I'm saying? So Don't get indicted, but go ahead. No, they brought him to me. Look, I'm not in, I'm not involved in it. He's a nigga, me. No, you're like, man, I got nine shows, bro. I got nine TV shows. Yeah. I am not gang gang. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? I am not gang gang. Yeah. What do you think you know? was his biggest downfall? No, like, I, I think that he, what, what happened is he stumbled over being, like he was going from set to set. Mm-hmm. Right, babe? like with different packs of guys that that are actively involved. Mm -hmm. Right, and while while doing that, like with the momentum of the music and not making a separation because he was right where he was yeah. from, still being there, he was coming in contact with everything and making these relationships, and he realized they would go. Like if you said you're gonna give them the money, they're going. Yeah, like what? it's gonna happen if mm -hmm. you pay, you drop the money off. Mm -hmm. They come, they're gonna do it. So that was making him feel confident enough, even to tell. People from LA, mm. culturally, where it's grown from, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and he, they said you need to check in. He said I ain't checking nowhere. What you talking about? Because you know he got the money right here, big. That if I drop it off, it's definitely gonna be a response to what he's saying. So he going. He kind of took Shadi in him for a ride because mm. he was a smart kid. Like don't think that he he was completely unaware. Nice. Uh, everything that was going on. Did you know it was going to end up like this or something like this? Because you hope for the best. Look at this. Takashi 6 9 never had my phone number in his phone. Because mm -hmm. I already know the, the kind of heat that would come mm -hmm. with the things that they actually was happening. Mm -hmm. Right? He, he never, I go, nah, nah, that's my son. Because they go, he don't only listen to 50. You see right. what I'm saying? And he's going, y'all, how you going to teach me something? You didn't do nothing. To them, like this, the street element, he going, nah, you don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. Let me see what he say, and I'm going to listen to what he said. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then this is only 
business and music. So he couldn't even call you now he that he's can. incarcerated because he don't have a number. He never had my phone number. Right. What, what is your phone? I didn't want to be involved in that case and everything else was going on. <laughs> yeah. I know what's happening. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, yo, you, you hot. Y'all hot. Like, look what you're doing. What are your thoughts on him snitching? I, I don't even know how to explain it. But like you said, under those circumstances, I don't know. I know I can identify with how he was feeling. When you find out the shot of you sleeping with your baby mother. I'm trying to kill you. And angry with you enough to, to kill you. <laughs> right, right, right. Once you start, <laughs> now, nah, you don't want the, <laughs> them to get no money out of the situation anymore. I could, and he's not from that. So, Big, you would feel he's completely alienated. There's no way out of it. Like you said, you could sit in jail for the rest of your life or for 20 years of your life, right? Mm. And... For, and support and be loyal to guys that was sleeping with your mm-hmm. baby's mother Ooh. and getting ready to attack your mother. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, to kids in middle America that actually buy this music, they don't understand the lifestyle. Yeah. How you got tangled up in it like that. So they look big. If you make a hit record, his record's still playing on the radio now. His, he got a song with A Boogie still playing. What's what's that called? Swerving. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think he would be able to make a hit record. Because I don't think he would know how to rap about anything other than other the than. street stuff that he was rapping about. Like, this would mean come back and be a complete another art. Like, tell, tell me somebody who makes hit music right now that, that makes it one way, and then you tell them, uh uh-uh, uh, we want Kendrick's record from you. Right, yeah. <laughs> You're like, huh? man. Sit down. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that, that's not going to come out of, you know, like certain art. If your future can be a hit record, but these, you can't make that hit record. All righty now, you know how we say uh, put his two cents in. Uh-huh. All right, I want you to put your 50 cents in. <laughs> All righty, now just fire through these. I'm just going to give you some topics, uh-huh. something that's out there, and you just tell me 50 cents, two cents. Okay. All righty, so give me 50 cents, 50 cents. All right? Female MCs. Um, Exciting now? The, the uh, What is it? Hot Girl City? Hot, Hot Girl Summer. Hot Girl Summer or City Girls? <laughs> yeah, City Girls. I like the, the records. All righty. She said that booty got stripes. Hold the ticket. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So how do you feel <laughs> when when you hear people say female MCs are either rapping the same or do do you feel like it, it has been a great female MC takeover? You, you know what I think that they have strong influences because mm-hmm. there's not a lot of, of female artists to to grow from. Like they can look at you can go further back and start doing things that Lauren Hill did. We got that kind of artist out there and like Kia Ke- Ke- Kaya Baby, mm-hmm. like young artists out of New York, mm-hmm. and they have those influences because they're not. The the overall probably the most effective female artist would be uh, the the one that is attractive at the same time. So they're making adjustments that women would make maybe in the strip club mm-hmm. you know, to be uh, attractive enough to be paid for. So you see similar things happening, and then Cardi comes out of the strip club, yeah, already yeah. ready, and just like got that, the most you know, nominations mm-hmm. for the BET Hip Hop yeah. Awards yeah, yeah. as, as well. Fifties, uh, Fifty Cent, alrighty, um, R Kelly. R. Kelly, I think just he jammed up for real now. Mm-hmm. It's different when when you you have these kind of issues with heat around you. Like when you got when he came the first time, he was still so hot, big that he could. I saw him and I didn't see him. It was his brother. Uh, right? Yeah, he yeah. He could say brother, that. It yeah. Was his oh brother no, that was his brother. I didn't mm-hmm. want it to be him. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that. And I think a lot of it does that for a lot of a lot of artists when it's huge momentum. That's like even when. I had gotten to something with, uh, well, I didn't get in this. We don't know. You did it. We all came up with a different name. Paris, <laughs> Paris, Paris, Paris Jackson. Anybody. Yeah, I was, I was okay. coming there yeah. too. Yeah. 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 She, she said something about, like, well, well, uh, on my page. I didn't even see it when she said it. I mm-hmm. saw it when they started to make the articles, like the blurbs mm-hmm. on the thing. And I'm like, I was just saying my opinion. I think mm-hmm. Chris Brown has the, the strongest showmanship right now. Like, he's, what, what our old pop star was, he's, a new version of that with that was his idol too. Strong showmanship, you know. He's the one performing and stuff. That uh, and Paris can't. Did she come back at you just off of that comment of uh, Chris Brown was, being? Yeah, because after I, I said it, I got attacked by an extremist, mm-hmm. <laughs> Michael Jackson fans, right? And then Ooh. when they kept going and going and going and going, then they make it. you start saying mm-hmm. things. Things, yeah. And then I start saying, but nobody <laughs> cares. Financial. Nobody cares about the little boys' butts, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Because look what they're saying, big. Like, when why you never been accused of somebody touching somebody? But why you never built Neverland in your backyard and have kids 
stay over. <laughs> right. It's weird shit going on now. Let's not let's not right. look past the weird mm-hmm. things that we it's see true. right in front of us. You know what I'm saying? And then at one point were you thinking like, dude, Paris, you really don't want me. <laughs> I'm not the to one. Say right this. before I started typing. <laughs> yeah, like what I'm trying to send here. <laughs> Man, you want to just list <laughs> Delete your comment and I won't do it. <laughs> yeah. 50's Cent. Uh, Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X, yeah. The record was dope. I thought yeah. it was cool. Then it, it just, it kind of ruined it for me. Why? Huh? Then he said it was, he was talking about somebody's butt. Like he, was, he wants to do something else with it and it changes it for me. He, like, did, did he, he say that? Or somebody, I think other yeah, people. Did he say that? I didn't never yeah. heard him say that. Oh, he never said it? I, thought I don't he think said he it. said it. I'm, this is happening while I'm dealing with the Young Buck situation. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got a lot of things to deal with. I got, I got a lot with. of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm going, whoa, <laughs> this is the world's changing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just shitting yourself. It's all so fast at one time. <laughs> Can't keep up. Fifth, looking back at everything you've been through in life, what advice would you tell a younger Curtis? Oh, man, you can just... Uh, shoot, if I was in early on stages, if I could be my father, I would tell me not to do... Make, a lot of the mistakes I made, you know, because at the moment, trying to serve my instant gratification, I'm not going after the things that I actually want. I would have had me writing earlier. Mm. I would have started doing things that, you know, that I know that later in, in life I would get to, you know what I'm saying? And, and really be able to use that the time to to be, be, be better at the, the craft, you know what I'm saying? What's going on with 50 Cent? The really the tycoon, the businessman. Yeah, like you say, you get newer. there's nine shows. Yeah, I'm looking at all these damn hashtags. I'm going and buying product <laughs> that alcohol. I don't even drink. Yeah, I got the Kink Champagne, the Chimindawag, I got uh, Branson Cognac. That I made that relationship through the Tattinger family. I, uh, so you Cast- name names where we don't even know. I know but that we it's should know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, <laughs> Castanel is the, the producer. They've been producing champagne for over 100 years. The um, Fizz, do you drink periodically? Right. <laughs> right. Occasionally, I, occasionally, I have some, yeah. Have and you ever been drunk? Is the, you know, that's the celebration drink, right? Yes. yes. Have you ever been drunk? Yes. How long? When was the last time? Every time I have more than one drink. Oh, oh really? That easy? I only takes two drinks, and I'm drunk as because <laughs> I don't drink Relush, like that. Yeah. So my body is, it, takes, it takes it, and it's like, whoa. That's crazy. Feel like you yeah, had I like got a drinking five problem. drinks. Like I drunk two. I'm like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. Have you ever did any? uh Drunk trolling? No, well, or, or do they know to take your phone after two drinks? No, no, no. Usually, because it's usually happening in nightlife, and it's usually later, so I'm not really doing much <laughs> social stuff at that point. Definitely want to thank you for yeah. coming yeah. to today. Thanks for having me. We done figured out that no one is safe. Nobody. Nobody. Uh-huh. Everybody can no. get it. Is there anyone that's safe? Uh, well, M. M. I will never that's say nothing about M. Wow. Yeah. Is Dr. Dre safe? Yeah, Dre. Look. Okay. He did too Uh-oh. much for me, man. Okay. Okay. Like okay. okay, so M and Dre say, I don't want to go through a whole list of people. <laughs> Let me ask you this. And keep uh, it real with me, Fifth. Uh, am I safe? Keep it real. Yeah, yeah. I don't babe. think I am. You uh, never said anything that offended me, babe. You know Even why? When, because you know I'm why? afraid that I'm not safe. No, and I know your personality. Right. So when you do say things, I go, oh, that's just big being big. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, right, look, look, you're safe, you know, big. At other people, when you don't know from, from like what's their motivation or where they're coming from, you go, why you say that? Like, you know, like, why you, that's, that's the Wendy Williams thing, and then it kept going. Yeah. It kept going. Hey, man, like, being you that you go are in L.A., would you ever attend Sunday service with Kanye, that Kanye West does? I thought, um, what is that? Like, I don't, I don't know where. Sort of like a spiritual moment of listening to music. And, I mean, Big, you've been there. Yeah, I've been there. It's just it good. Sunday. It's like a Sunday. It's not preachy. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just music and everything, so. With, with, I mean, I, I haven't experienced it, so I would. What about when you it. said when you when when Curtis the album and uh, graduation when y'all went up against each other? Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was a great that. moment for hip hop. Mm-hmm. It was. And you said that if he sold more records than you, <laughs> yeah, then time. he you would retire. And, he, and everybody felt like he was the underdog at that time. Yeah, yeah, he was. And it was y'all had great albums. He sold more. Uh huh. You didn't retire. A, you know what happened is, <laughs> but later if you look at Jay Z's documentary, he, said he he points that moment out as a point that he beat me. Right? How did he beat me if it was Kanye's? Because he was the president of Death mm-hmm. and they did everything they could to make that work at that point. Mm-hmm. So it was like, we have to make the numbers. Oh. You think it was fuzzy math? Absolutely. 
<laughs> the numbers weren't right big they did man, something to that absolutely 50 big. thank you for thank coming you. in man and congratulations on all things the yes. nine shows that's going down just the, the way everybody is addicted to the tv show power it's going I'm music that's coming yeah all right music all right we're alcohol. gonna hold you to that <laughs> yeah and every Cognac. business venture that, that you have man are you single or do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah. Is that really you? Well, she's no, no, I'm married. No, hey, because... He, yeah. he looked right at your ring like, ah. Oh. He said, what's up? No, because we all saw what, you at the premiere. Asking. Where's this motivation coming no. from? No. <laughs> I don't know. We saw you. Yeah, she don't looking at my head. We saw you at the premiere. They they said this was your girlfriend. Right. Was, oh yeah. It was fun, big. I had a good time. <laughs> okay. It was yeah, fun. Who is old we, girl that like I saw on your Instagram and she was in like one of them flash dance positions? Flash looked dance? perfect. Like oh uh, uh, no, that was yesterday. That was just a random picture. Did really we find though? a question yeah, that you yeah. won't answer? That's dope. That's a good huh? random Did picture. Did we find a question you girl, wouldn't answer? If? Listen, I have to protect myself from <laughs> <laughs> these legal situations, big. Yeah. Ah, legal situations. These type of situations get really, really in depth. I heard oh, that. Okay. But are you single? Are you wow, in love? found it. When was the last time you were in love? Huh? When was the last time Renee, you were in single? love? In love. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> oh, yeah. gotta go all of a sudden, huh? You know, it's, it, look, look, I, I was today, I ended up, I just enjoy. I think the Company. friendship is the strongest form of a relationship. Mm. And I That's think true. when, because people when they're really good friends, and then then they become so comfortable around each other that they're comfortable with commitment. Then when they have the commitment, if you fall short of their expectations, because mm-hmm. they have expectations that they preset before they met you, then they don't even want to talk to you no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And how did that? Is ill. This is why it's uh, ill. Look at this. Pick the top of Fortune 500 companies, the smartest guys that you meet, big. They, we say uh, uh, legitimate business people that earn extremely well, mm-hmm. do really good, right? There's a, a area that clearly states where they took their biggest losses, and it says married and divorced. divorced. <laughs> where they lost. <laughs> Not right. just in, in financially, but mm-hmm. in the investment in time, because the time is the most expensive thing we spend. Mm. You know, so when we talk about that that person, when you see that little bit of Migos, hold up, because you can't really control people. Mm. They're going to do what they want to do, and you got to be on the same page and know that they're doing what you want to do. So you know single. what I mean? Yeah. So you're so single. It, take, it takes time for you to... <laughs> Amen. We'll put that in the audio book. Right. Uh, <laughs> That was a long ass fucking answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and I'm still not clear on it. So I think he's single. He has a friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, he has a friend. Uh, all right, Phil. Cool story, bro. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you for taking us all the way around like this. Well, we well, just went right there. No, no, you asked Go me. get my birthday gift. Fifty cents <laughs> in the neighborhood, big boy big neighborhood. Boy. That's not right. Now you just made me feel like I didn't answer the question right. Do you, you have a girlfriend? Big, yes look at no? this. I understand. Yes I, got you. This, this I got you. I got you. Terrible. You, You're you disappointed me so so much. Baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh. this is terrible. Oh, and how wow. is that? I can't believe you. Now he's right. attacked. Yeah. Me. After all of these years, you feel to me. You don't feel attacked. I cannot believe you attacked me. Do you feel? Oh, strap. You put, you <laughs> set me up with her and her. No, oh, her and her. Now we're we're yeah, the bad oh, people here. Oh man, he gonna be like, yeah, the, the don't Gladys come, Knight don't come after us. Yeah. <laughs> don't post me on your Don't post me on your